good morning dear friends and uh, greetings in the name of the lord jesus christ and we thank god for giving us this brand new day to live one more day as a witness for jesus christ and let us therefore listen to the voice of god and listen what he has to say to us we have been talking about the promised land that god promised to abraham the physical israelite and god has faithfully fulfilled that promise gave him a promised land and in the same way we in the new testament church we are also the new testament israelites and we are also descendants of uh, abraham because of faith and our faith is in the lord jesus christ who has promised us a home with him in heavenly places to live with him forever and ever and ever that is a promise that god has given us so we have a promised land to look forward to the world is terrified today by the happenings and things that are happening around us there is so much of uh, uh, problems that mankind is facing all over the world and our own country of india is facing enormous problems and we are not very certain of our future and so in the midst of it all the church has a promise of god to hang on to and jesus christ is our anchor and his promises are our hope and our strength and we believe the promises that god is faithful to fulfill every single promise that he made and he has promised us eternal life if we believe and follow jesus christ and so my friends when you experience god when we experience god our outlook must be big because god is so big he is beyond our imagination he is so big the bible says that god's own word says even heaven of heavens cannot contain me how can you build a house for me to live and then another place the psalmist says heaven is his throne and earth is his footstool these expressions are used to impress on us the bigness and the greatness of our god he is over and above all there is none like jehovah god of the bible god is going to do some big and mighty things in the world in the days to come according to the prophecies and according to the uh, fact uh, according to what is happening today you know we can expect god to move in a mighty way now the church today is singing what grace 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 what does that mean always depending on grace we why we are always weak yes his grace strengthens us his grace gives us the confidence if we have no grace but you know in heaven the angels also sing you know what they sing they always sing holy 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 lord god almighty hallelujah that is what the angels sing our concentration is on our weaknesses and our needs and uh, how fragile we are but the angels concentration is all and focus is always on god almighty who is bigger than our imagination can imagine he is big and then apostle john says in his his letter in the in in his first letter he says he who lives in you is greater than he that is in the world now who is in the world the devil that's a reference to the devil 
and our God Almighty and the Lord Jesus Christ who conquered the devil and death and all sin power and every evil forces by his own death on the cross and by his resurrection. So he is mightier and many times mightier than the devil. Millions of times mightier than the devil. And it is he who lives in you. And one should have that confidence as you face the world. And let us always remember, we are more than angels. That's what God made us to be. We are ma made as his own dearest children, sons and daughters. We are his sons and daughters. And in us, the Father God himself lives. So Apostle John says, he who is within us is greater than he that is in the world. Shall we live today with that realization and not to be afraid? And in case if you face some evil forces, some power that you are not able to handle, so you think. But immediately remember this. Hey, who am I? I am a child of God. I am a son of God Almighty. I am a daughter of the Lord God Almighty. And he lives in me. And the word of God says, he who is in me is greater than he that is in the world. What a confidence, what a mighty promise. A certainty. And if you follow Jesus faithfully and sincerely, this is your hope and this is your strength. Who can ever face, what devil can ever face us? when he sees Jesus himself sitting within us. Hallelujah. When temptation comes, when problems are faced, uh, we face, what should you remember? Jesus. He lives within us. So we begin to worship him. Hallelujah. Don't be frightened. Instead of praying or f getting frightened, you begin to sing, Holy Holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and who is and who is to come. He is eternal, he is almighty, and when he is within me, what can the devil do? Nothing. And so, may the Holy Spirit enable you. Oh, Holy Spirit of God, we can speak these things, we can believe all these things, but when a situation comes, we are frightened, we are fragile, and therefore, we need you, Lord, in our lives. We cannot otherwise. So, Holy Spirit of God, I pray that you fill all of God's children. Thank you, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. This is a great day. Enjoy your life today. Amen.